Mr. Pro. I'm doing it. Welcome to Biafra Television London. We are coming to you from the Truth of the Matter platform. My name is Amari Basilo, but presenting to you the general public to see the predicament of the people of Biafra in Nigeria. The Nigerian security forces are killing the people of Biafra, intimidating and harassing the people of Biafra, collecting money from them by force. It was shocking that on Sunday, 10th of September 2017, Nigerian security forces, the soldiers, went to the home of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Nande Kanu, with armored tanks and the healers' vans. To that state, they shot some members of IPOB in the home of Nande Kanu. The people of Biafra are looking at this issue and seeing it as a threat to the life of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. I am here with Mr. Carl Abo, Mr. Carl Abo, and Mr. Nadi. They are going to talk on the issue, on this issue, and they make our audience to understand exactly the plan of Nigerian government against the leader of indigenous people of Biafra and the Biafrans at large. This is the truth of the matter. Keep watching as the discussion unfolds. So how do you see this very particular issue? You see the leader of indigenous people of Biafra who embarked on a peaceful movement to restore the sovereign state of Biafra. Um, they have been killing the people of Biafra outside. Now on Sunday, they went to the home of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. How do you see this matter? Well, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Moderator, for welcoming me once again today on this hallowed platform. Uh, it is quite ironic that uh, the Nigerian government they comes out in public to profess the oneness of Nigeria and at the same time they are intimidating the people that they purported to, 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 to force into a union of one Nigeria. Uh, I want our general audience to understand that the Nigerian Army Chief, Lieutenant General, Yusuf Tuko Burata is a Fulani Islamist jihadist who has been at the helm of affairs under the Nigerian military in massacring, killing, and indulging and executing the state sponsored kidnappings and killing of Biafra. I want our audience to remember that this man, Tukor Yusu Buratai, he is illegally the army chief in Nigeria because his term of retirement has expired since January 2016 and he has been illegally imposed on the people. He has been illegally imposed upon the population of more than 150 million people. This is quite absurd. Coming to the event that happened at the residence of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, this is something that we must not take uh, uh, with a pinch of salt because uh, this is an, a planned assassination which the Nigerian government, they have already said in public that they are going to cross the Biafra agitators. How do they intend to do that? They intend to kill the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, hoping that when they must have succeeded in doing that, the agitation for the restoration of the sovereignty of Biafra will be scuttled. But they are in for a very big failure because we the indigenous people of Biafra we are determined to restore Biafra we the indigenous people of Biafra we are not deterred by intimidation of the murderous 
Islamic Fulani Nigerian government. We, the indigenous people of Biafra, we are not afraid of that. We, the indigenous people of Biafra, and as much as we are following the lay down rules of international law under the United Nations Charter for the Right of Indigenous People for Self Determination, which Nigeria is a signatory to. It is still under the Nigerian domestic law where they domesticated this international convention. So the indigenous people of Biafra are not intimidated in any form. What they did is they want to provoke the indigenous people of Biafra. The indigenous people of Biafra has carried out more than 200 protests worldwide since 2015 till now. And it is on record that the indigenous people of Biafra has constituted the most peaceful movement on earth for self-determination. So for the Nigerian murderous uh, Islamic army to invade our land, we know that it must happen because every security apparatus within the part of Biafra land is occupied by the Fulani. We have the Fulanis in charge of every security post in our land. So because of that, you can see that the indigenous people of Biafra is under siege. Our land is under occupation by this murderous army. So what they did is to provoke the indigenous people of Biafra, maybe when they, when they brought the armored uh, tank to the residence of our leader, Maybe our people will react, then they will start killing everybody and at the cost of killing everybody, our leader will be affected. But now Mr. Kalago, um, since this issue is um, they invaded the, the home of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra on 10th of September 2017, mm. um, do you think that the, because there was no warrant, it was un unwarranted activities of the Nigerian army, so do you think that what happened is an act of terror? Of course, it is a terrorist activity because those you see under the Nigerian military fatigue, they are actually those Boko Haram members which Buhari announced to the world that they have surrendered. Those people, those Boko Haram were recruited into the Nigerian army with a special task for crushing Biafra agitation. So when you hear Buhari, he gave a lot of money to these uh, 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 Boko Haram killers and at the same time indoctrinated and included them into the Nigerian army for such heinous and evil mission. So that is what they have come to do. They wanted to provoke our people so that when our people retaliate, now they will use those their concocted news for the past two weeks to join it together and present to, to the world that the indigenous people of Biafra are violently agitating for the restoration of Biafra. Their main intention is to make sure that they present the indigenous people of Biafra to the world that the indigenous people of Biafra wants to stop election in Anambra State and in Biafra land in general. To stop. But Try to understand, I want our audience to know the difference between stopping an election and the boycotting of an election. Nigeria government is doing everything to make sure that they attach the indigenous people of Biafra to that stopping of election, which involves force. But what we are advocating with the indigenous people of Biafra, we are advocating for a referendum a referendum a referendum by boycotting an election boycotting an election means we present our argument to our people the reasons why they should boycott the election it is persuasive 
we are persuasive in our approach because we are offering a sound reason why our people should boycott the election. But the Nigerian government is trying to show to the world that what we are intending to do is to stop the election, which is false. So when you look at it, you discover that Nigeria is fraud and the people that are in charge of the fraudulent Nigeria are fraudulent themselves. Thank you very much, Mr. Kalago. Of course, the Nigerian um, soldiers, their aim was to provoke the indigenous people of Biafra, you know, so that the world will see the indigenous people of Biafra as a violent um, group of people. And it's very clear, and the world should understand that the Nigerian government and their security agents, that their activities against the indigenous people of Biafra is undemocratic, uncivilized, and their aim is to annihilate the indigenous people of Biafra, the people of Biafra. That is why they have a sessional selected security chiefs against the indigenous people of Biafra. So, Mr. Nandi, um, you can see what is happening, how Nigerian security agents, how they are treating the people of Biafra, and what we are looking at is to understand their aim, and why they are doing all these things against the people of Biafra. So, and the world, the world is seeing, and many democratic nations are seeing what Nigerian security agents are doing against the indigenous people of Biafra, who embark on a recognized um, right, that is self determination. Are you getting me? So now, um, how do you view the activities of the Nigerian security agents, especially the soldiers, and the, what happened on 10th of September 2017? How do you view uh, the, well, the issue? Uh, well, the, the issue is this uh, the, the Nigerian military have an agenda, and that agenda is completely targeted on Biafrans. It's completely targeted on Biafrans. The agenda, the agenda of the Nigerian military is a pure and clear way of exterminating Biafrans. What are they doing currently? What is the actions of the Nigerian military? The action of the Nigerian military has to do with this principle of threat and intimidation. Then you ask yourself, why are they using this threat and intimidation? It's purely for political uh, 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 reason. Now, Mr. Now, Mr. Nadi, I would still like you to uh, to let the world to understand the, the the pain or the predicament of the people of Biafra in Nigeria. Look at what happened um, in many in protests. Um, when we are when we embark on a protest, a peaceful protest, which you know that is part of democracy, yeah, and the, the, at the peak of the protest, many Biafrans will be killed. And then now they went to they move again to Una the Colonel's house. Do you understand? How do you view this issue? I think uh, it is high time the world should begin to ask questions. Does military have this right in the first place? Like in, 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 their, in their press release, they say they are testing their new purchased armor tanks. Armor tanks. Then I ask myself, you are testing a new purchased armor tanks, in a community street, in the street of a, of, a, of a village, in the street of a community. Oh, and I know the Kano's home. Don't they have deserts where ammunitions are tested? Nigeria is today. So, testing their own ammunition where the citizens, innocent citizens, civilians are living. So, it is a very clear that they don't have any genuine reason. They are just trying to lay hands on one flimsy excuses to kill the leader of the, to indigenous, kill the leader people. Of the indigenous people of Biafra. But people should be very, very careful. Our people should be very, very careful from henceforth. We have to be more security conscious this time around. These people are really determined to eliminate Biafrans. They have killed IPOB in Aba, the same Nigerian military. They have killed in Anambra, Biafra land, they have killed even in Port Harcourt. they have also killed 
in Enugu. They have killed IPOB in almost all the gatherings. Recently, when the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra we are, uh, was going to uh, a Boeing state for a, a gathering, they almost killed him on the way. The same thing happened when he was on his way to Anambra, the last uh, 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 gathering in Anambra. They blocked him on his way, they almost killed him on the way. So, what kind of nonsense is that? Aero 5 said it, that they are going to take the war. That was uh, uh, Yerima, the, 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 the said, German said it. As Yerima, well. Aero said it, Yerima repeated the same thing. The, the so-called Arewa youth, youth leader. So, if you look at it practically, they are what simply... Did they say? What did they say? The, 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 I want the, to the Yerima the the said mm -hmm. that they would take the war to unam the Kano's compound. Have you said it? And uh, this is exactly what they are doing today. The world should look into this case now that it is not too late. Because Biafrans have come to restore Biafra. There is nothing on air that will stop it. We must restore Biafra. Even though we are using the most peaceful way of getting Biafra, that doesn't deny us our right of self-defense. So the earlier, the better. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Nadi. Thank you. You put it so simply to our audience to understand the, the illegal activities of Nigerian security forces against the indigenous people of Biafra. Now, Mr. Carl Abu, you know, you look at it, uh, you said it before that uh, what happened on 10th of September 2017 in the home of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra is an, is an act of terror. You yes. said it. Yes. Now, you see that uh, um, the activities of Nigerian soldiers uh, against the indigenous people of Biafra is uncivilized, undemocratic. So what do you tell the uh, relevant uh, organizations in the world and the democratic nations around the world? So what do you tell them? Well, I stand here today to put the world on notice, specifically uh, the United Nations. Why I call the United Nations at this point in time is because on the 6th of June 2017, the Arewa youth, they issued a quick notice. And at the same time, they also approached the United Nations asking them to uh, proscribe the indigenous people of Biafra as a terrorist group and also to prosecute Mazen Namdekan, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. So, and after the, their communication with the United Nations, there was a counter press release or counter finding by the United Nations whereby the impressed upon the Nigerian government to arrest and prosecute those who issued such a threat and a quick notice. And from all indications, this quick notice that they have given is just a smoke screen in order to take over the properties of the indigenous people of Biafra living among them. So, what I am saying now I'm urging the United Nations as a matter of urgency to intervene proactively with a reasonable and a strong approach to Nigerian government in order to impress upon them to arrest and prosecute these murderers who had already laid down their plans for 1st October 2017. Their plan is this. What transpired at Namdekano's residence on Sunday is they want to test our people to see if our security men have gone. That is number one. Number two, they want to know the readiness of the indigenous people of Biafra to defend themselves. Why do they want to do all these things? Because starting from 1st of October, when these murderous Arewa miscreants will start to kill the indigenous people of Biafra, what illegal and imposed Buratai will do 
is to roll out the tanks on the street and send out the murderous Boko Haram in army uniform in order to prevent any form of reprisal attack from our people because from October, if our people are attacked in the north, our people at home, they will not keep quiet because they have killed us enough. And also, I want to use this opportunity to warn Nigeria because the indigenous people of Biafra, we are resident in almost every part of the world. And we want these people that we are living in their, in their vicinity to please impress on the Nigerian government in your country. Approach them in their embassies. Now, Mr. Kalago, um, the activities of Nigerian government and the, the, and the health security um, operat operatives, that is the security agents against the indigenous people of Biafra, is undemocratic. Of course. Uncivilized. Of course. Now, what do you tell the, um, um, the democratic nations around the world? Because there are countries that are, they are democratic nations and they know that these activities are undemocratic. What do you tell those, uh, those nations? What I tell them is to uphold their principles and the tenets of democracy, which they have always continuously been preaching to the third world countries, in as much as Nigeria as a member of the United Nations, in as much as Nigeria as a member of every international community. Thank you it very much. An, it is an onus on these countries to impress, to impress upon this murderous Nigerian state to implement democratic principles and the honor the right of the indigenous people to self-determination which Nigeria is a signatory to. Thank you very much you. Mr. Kalago. Thank you. Yes, and you put it clear to the public, to the general public to see the illegal activities of Nigerian security agents against the people of Biafra. And you have said also that the, uh, the democratic nations around the world must, um, must press Nigerian government to respect democracy and to apply democratic process to handle the issue of self-determination in Nigeria. That is the issue of Biafra. So now, Mr. Nadi, um, you see that um, the activities of these criminals, the Nigerian soldiers and the other security agents who are killing the people of Biafra, their activities are illegal and undemocratic. What do you tell the relevant organizations around the world uh, um, uh, on this issue? Well, the truth is this. Before I speak to the relevant organizations, I want to say it very clearly very, very clearly that these people are playing with fire. These people are playing with fire because the fire will consume everybody. They can't continue to kill our people and go scot free. We are just keeping quiet for a reason, for some reasons. But that keeping quiet has a limit. So to the international world, to the United Nations, African Union, ECOWAS, American government, British government, Nigerian government, and the entire world, they should allow us to go through this process of democratically constitutional way of self-determination. They shouldn't force us to do otherwise. We are trying to make sure that things are done peacefully. If Nigeria think that they, they are able to convince us to remain Nigerians, it is their duty to convince Biafrans. It is not the duty of Biafrans to convince themselves to be Nigerian. We don't want to be Nigeria again. And if you people keep quiet, you the international world, you the authority that governs the earth, if you people keep quiet and allow this killing to continue, Remember, like my colleague said here, we are in every country of the world. We are not afraid. We are just keeping quiet for a reason, because we need peace. But if this goes to a, a situation whereby we are pushed to the war, the whole world will take the results. Not only Nigeria. Because everybody 
that is keeping quiet will get involved in the whole thing. The whole world kept quiet and the issue kept growing until it reaches to that stage. Today they are keeping quiet again on the Biafra issue. These people are playing with fire. We have come to restore Biafra. No going back. It is Biafra or death. So now what and if they don't give us Biafra, if they continue to kill our people and the world is keeping quiet, it is going to boil down in such a way that the world have never seen before. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Nadi. Yes, um, the world should um, rise up and tell the Nigerian government to allow the indigenous people of Biafra um, to have their freedom. We are not Nigerians because Nigeria has expired as a country. We are the indigenous people of Biafra. We have not seen any single reason why Nigerian security agents will be killing the indigenous people of Biafra. In our protests, they will kill us. When we are in our homes, they will kill us. Look at the leader of indigenous people of Biafra that commanded millions, millions of Biafrans all over the world. They went to his home to kill him. They are provoking the indigenous people of Biafra. And if they continue, the indigenous people of Biafra will be back on a, a, on a different protest. And that protest, the whole world will, will be on shock. Thank you very much. Um, now, Mr. Carl Alko, um, those criminals, the Nigerian security agents, why we call them criminals is because they are forcing the indigenous people of Biafra to give them money. They are killing the indigenous people of Biafra, which is against the constitution and against democracy. Uh, they are committing so, so many crimes. They will leave their, their barrack, that is army, they will leave their barrack, they will go on the street killing people. That is why we call them uh, criminals. So now, um, what do you tell them? How do you deal these criminals? They are criminals also because they have already usurped their mandate. Their mandate is constitutionally to defend and protect the territorial integrity of the purportedly Nigerian state. But you see, the entire Biafra land has been completely militarized by the Buhari-led government. Nigeria is supposed not to have been admitted into the Committee of Nations because what is obtainable in Nigeria can never ever be obtained in any other society except Nigeria, which is fraudulent place. So those people you see there, Muhammad Buhari, Burata, all these are murderous agents. These are blood suckers. These are people who do not have anything to give to the society. Thank you very much, Mr. Kala. Thank, Thank you very much. So what we are telling the world today is that the Nigerian security agents are killing the people of Biafra. The Nigerian security agents are intimidating and harassing the people of Biafra. And these people of Biafra are democratic people. They are peace-loving people. Nigerian security agents are killing them. The worst is that Nigerian security agents, the soldiers, on 10th of September 2017, went to the home of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. They shot some people in the home of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. What was their aim? Their aim was to provoke the indigenous people of Biafra to see whether the indigenous people of Biafra would take up arms. They, they, they went there to, to try to see the capability of indigenous people of Biafra to defend themselves. And all these activities are uncivilized and illegal. This is the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter is bringing it to you raw. For you to see what is happening in our society, what is happening in Nigeria. Thank you very much.
Passa lá, né? 